Uh, hi everyone and uh, welcome back. Welcome to this Swiggy clone application uh, which we were building since last couple of videos. Okay, so in the first video uh, what I will be doing is I will be helping some of the developers because they are facing a problem in setting up the backend. Okay, so we'll go through some particular points. So you can see that here we have two containers, right? Gatekeeper, Swiggy Microservice, Postgres, and Nginx. Okay, you have to take care about the ports. Okay, like uh, there is a Docker Compose and there is a Docker Compose override. So in override, we are defining these ports. You should not change these container ports, but if there is already a process running on your host, on 4000, you can change it to something else because these are your host port and we are not using them because all our microservices they are talking internally through the container port okay another thing is like uh, here i'm trying to access one of my endpoint which is like create restaurant right and i'm getting this error okay so if you have cloned the application did docker compose up properly everything is up and running but i'm getting this error because I haven't created the database tables. Database is automatically getting created whenever you are doing Docker Compose up, but the tables are not getting created. So how do we do that? So the simple thing is if you are using VS Code, then you go inside that container. So this is Swiggy microservice, attach shell. Before that, you can do npm run build. Okay, so we'll go to Swiggy microservice and do npm run build that will generate a disk folder okay and then we will do docker compo uh, we will just get into this container and we will just do npm run db sync okay this is a simple way or you can actually create the migrations here we haven't created a migrations yet but here in src folder we can create a migration folder put all the sql queries which are related to the table create, table update, all these things. Now we will go inside this container and we will do npm run db sync. That will help us to synchronize the entities with the database. And we will also check our environment file before doing that. Environment file should be proper 5432, Postgres is the container name. We are not using localhost and all because container is talking to the container. So npm run db sync is using type ORM CLI, looking inside the entities and going to create these tables for us. So these are the entities we have. This restaurant entity. Okay, and we have the menu address and all these entities. This is a single microservice. So this should be able to create the tables for us. And then we can create restaurant and we can also get the list of restaurant. We have to create another endpoint in this API. So currently you see we have the restaurant and all. We are going to add one more API which is restaurant search. That will be searching based on a particular type. Okay, this is a vegetarian restaurant, non-vegetarian restaurant, exclusive, premium, uh, different kind of restaurant, right? Uh, so we are just going to add the type and here we can see the tables has been populated now if you wanted to see this database where it has created right what is the port and all the information then you have to go here check your post grace port binding so here is your post grace from your host machine you will be able to connect to this database using this port so you can actually use any of your uh, client to connect to the database and then you just specify the username, password, host port. So I'm doing that. So let's do this edit localhost. Host is localhost. Username is and the port is 5438 here. And username is admin. Password is admin. And database is uh, what is the database name? This DB is also admin. Okay. I have added this information and then doing connect. 
Yes, and I can see the database tables. Here we have this restaurant. And here we can see the type, all the database information, right? So this is our uh, restaurant table. Now we will be creating, we will be uh, doing a search and we, we are going to show this data onto the UI. So I'm using post. Let's create some response one I have created. Now you just need to keep changing the name and you can create your restaurant and then we'll provide the search functionality so that we can do the search based on the type. Type is veg. It can be non-veg. It can be an enum attribute in the database table. So while creating, you should not be passing something garbage. Okay. So here we are sending type. All these things are getting saved. Now what we will do is we will try to add a filter. First of all, let's see the database table. Content. So we need to see why this type is not being populated, right? Type ratings, uh, logo URLs, all these things. Now, uh, so what we will do is let's debug this. It's going to be interesting. Name, website, logo URL. We have provided all the information. This should be HTTP URL, average time, average cost. Okay. Now we are hitting this API. And here is our microservice. This is our DTOs, restaurant DTO. And we are doing create. Okay. So this is our type. Is optional string, required false, example wedge. That is good. So we are sending this type in the create. Okay, and this is going. Now let's go to our services. Restaurant service. I think we are uh, setting few parameters. So let's go to response service create. Okay, this is the problem because we are setting individual parameters. That's why it is not able to save our data. Instead of doing this, what we will do here is if this is existing restaurant, we will actually thread this. This is our existing restaurant. And we also got the new restaurant information, I mean the update information. Data. Uh, this should work. Let's see what is the argument type, length, push, pause. I don't know why it always complains. All loaded to argument, the partial, some attribute is missing. Address DTO is missing. Okay. So that is correct information. We need to have address DTO. Because with the restaurant, we are also creating address, right? So with that, what we are going to do here is, first of all, let's add the type and all. Then we will fix that. So restaurant name type, data dot type, and all the other required information which we are going to use. So here we have few more parameters, average time, average cost, logo URL. We will set all these things and then we will fix this uh, address thing. Now this address is also coming, right? Address is a part of uh, this entity object. If you see this restaurant. So this is a restaurant DTO and if you go in the bottom, we have the address DTO, right? So address also a part of this and we are passing this address object also. Validate nested is object. So we will set because address we need to create first. And then we'll pass the ID here. So this is the existing restaurant first.
uh, this is not the the best approach what we will do is we will create the restaurant and then we will populate the address so now we need to populate the correct data in the database whatever we are submitting that should be going in the database now we can see our container will come up and here you can see we are creating the the address also this dot create address data dot address and new restaurant so what we are doing here is whatever the restaurant we have created we are passing this in the create address payload this is the function it is taking your address dto and it is creating the restaurant address okay so this restaurant address is the restaurant which we have created and the address data and address is also creating see being created with the the restaurant information so we should be good this is unnecessary variable we can return directly from here okay in the update currently we are not uh, specifying the update information but while creating we are creating the address also okay now so after doing this because we need this feature on the ui this particular type based on the type we wanted to show the filtered result on the ui so we have all these different type of uh, restaurant we need to list down like premium exclusive veg non veg italian indian south indian all these different types you can list down right so based on these we need to write an api which will just filter out the results from the database so we already have this api we can modify this there can be another api we can write api we even search and just pass all your parameters and you can also do the pagination okay give me five result 10 results or give me the restaurant based on this particular name or this particular type okay so we will write one global search application global search api and that will consume from our react component okay so let's do that in the next video uh, thanks everyone